Number seven, describe the effect of each of the following on the rate of the reaction of magnesium metal with the solution of hydrochloric acid. Okay, so we have the molarity of the hydrochloric acid, the temperature of the solution, and the size of the pieces of the magnesium. Now we have to all relate these back to what's gonna happen to the rate. Now we're deciding what's gonna happen to the effect on the rate. So chances are we're either gonna have two answers, right? If uh, a situation, you know, a situation can either increase the rate of reaction. And if we are increasing the rate of reaction, that just means that, you know, something's going faster. Takes less time to get a result or a product. And then the other answer could be, maybe it's gonna decrease the rate of reaction. And if you need more time for a specific reaction to run its progress or, you know, run, the, run through the whole reaction and your reactants go into products, that's just going to be a slower amount of time. Okay, so I guess we'll take the first part. What's going to happen to the rate of the reaction when we are changing the molarity? So, well, I guess here comes number one. The first thing that we have to remember, and this is all kind of like memorizable points, right? Theory concepts, is what's going to happen with molarity changes. Now, generally speaking, whenever you have more of something, right? If you have more moles of your solute, that is going to give you a higher molarity. So the higher amount of moles of your solute will yield you a higher number for molarity because molarity equals moles divided by liters. If your moles are increasing, that molarity value is also going to increase. And if you have more of something, more chance that it's going to react and give you a product, right? Now, the first thing they said was, what's gonna happen to the rate if we're changing the molarity of the hydrochloric acid? So, if we know that we have high rates, right? That always goes with high molarities. So if you increase your molarity, you are going to increase the rate of reaction. And then on the flip side, if you decrease a molarity value, you will lower your rate of reaction. So this is a very, very key concept to memorize. That any time that your molarity is going to increase, that rate is going to increase as well. The reaction is going to produce at a faster rate, less time, because you just have more moles in your solution. The second key important uh, idea here that affects the rate is the temperature, right? So we got temp changes, temperature changes. What's going to happen to the rate of a reaction if my temperature increases or decreases? Seems like we're going with the increase trend here. So I guess we will talk about increase in temperature. Now, if you're increasing temperature, right, something's getting hotter. And a good uh, example about this is why we have refrigerators, right? We have refrigerators to keep our food better preserved for times when we don't eat it, right? We have a lot of food in our refrigerators because we, you know, can't possibly eat all that in one sitting. So we buy some at the supermarket and we save, uh, you know, ingredients over time, over the week. But what happens, for example, if you leave, you know, uh, a piece of meat out on the counter and not in the refrigerator? Yeah, it's going to get moldy, right? And it's going to get basically, you know, you're not going to be able to eat it because the reaction of, we could say for lack of a better term, turning it from edible to inedible, right? If something's, you know, bacteria is starting to grow, that's a type of reaction. Um, it's increasing. So that's why we have to throw it in the refrigerator to lower the temperature. We don't want those reactions happening. So that's why we just have to keep it in a cooler environment. If you have cooler environments, reactions slow down. So in this case, always if you're increasing your temperature, that rate, whatever it is, is going to happen faster. 
so the rate of reaction also increases. So rate of reaction increases as well. So now we have two key components. If you increase the molarity, increase rate, faster it goes. If you increase the temperature, rate will also increase, faster it goes. The third thing that we have to talk about is the size of the pieces. So we'll say particle size. Particle size. Now, we're basically talking about something that maybe, you know, might be in a, a, a bigger amount versus stuff that is smaller. Now, in this case, we're specifically talking about the magnesium. Well, you either can have a larger particle size or a smaller particle size. So what's the general idea here? Well, it turns out that if you have a smaller particle size, what's happening to the surface area? Surface area is getting larger because you can now calculate the, the surface. You have much more surface if you have smaller pieces of particles, so like a powdered material. If you have larger pieces, you can't count any of the surfaces in the middle because that's not a surface, that's on the inside. So if you have a larger particle size, powdered material, um, your surface area is going to increase. And if your surface area is going to increase, there's more chances that a reaction is going to happen because reactions generally happen on the surface inward, right? If you can't get inside uh, with the larger material, you have less surface area. So this is going to increase the rate of a reaction, make it faster. So in this case, this is the only one that's basically an inverse relationship. If you have a particle size that is smaller, that means that your rate of reaction will increase. But the other ones are direct relationships, increase, increase. Maybe what I'll do is I'll get all the colors going over here. So molarity changes, molarity of the hydrochloric acid in this specific case. If you increase that molarity of the hydrochloric acid, the rate will increase, it will be faster. Temperature of the solution. If you jack up that temperature, if you make it higher, the rate of the reaction will also increase. And that means that it's going to be faster, less time for that reaction to happen. And the size of the pieces of the magnesium. If you have a smaller amount of magnesium, smaller particle size, that rate of reaction will increase and that's going to be faster. And that's the answer for this. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in more questions. Keep studying hard. Good luck on those tests and quizzes. And thanks for coming here, hanging out, learning some stuff, right? Always keep learning. And I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.